This stone is a piece of uh, bird's eye Marantzi. It has the little tiny black dots in it and little character uh, water, kind of like a water web character. So some of the matrix is lighter, some is darker. But what you have with turquoise is it's oftentimes found in veins, real thin veins. And that's a good thing because it has more color saturation. When you find turquoise that's th really thick, you don't often find the same color all the way through the stone. The best of the color is on top. That's what happened in this case. So what they've done um, is backed it here with uh, liquid aluminum, which is basically epoxy and aluminum shavings mixed together. And you lay down like frosting, you lay it on a wax paper, and then you take the turquoise and just press it in there and leave it to dry. When it does, you cut out these, these patterns just with a rough saw, shape it, and then you start cutting the stone. So this has really beautiful color. It's a deep blue, has a wonderful matrix pattern. And, and the, the reason it has that color most often is because the color comes out better in a thin section. As I said, with the thick stones, oftentimes you'll, see, you'll start to cut them and you'll see a, a beautiful top color. And as you grind down and into it, you'll, it'll wash out. Um, the, only the best turquoise has color saturation all the way through. So it's really tough. Um, you see it quite often where someone will start on a stone, think they really have something, and then they'll grind a little too far and it'll wash clear out. But in this case, it really turned out well. Super nice matrix pattern. Beautiful deep blue color. Totally natural, high-grade natural turquoise here from the Morency Mine. Uh, Bird's Eye Marenzi Turquoise Cabochon.